Hey everyone, Brandon here with Galloway Precision. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna start with our stock LCP, uh, CJT or machine shop that makes a lot of our parts a little far as theirs. So we can run through some tests. I'm gonna put two mags at three yards normal, two mags at three yards with the stainless steel guide rod, 13 pound spring and curve piece keeper. And then two mags at three yards <coughs> with the flat face piece keeper uh, stainless steel guide rod and recoil springs 13 pound recoil springs uh, to show you guys what's going to be the difference when you get there so let's flip the camera around and do some banging all right so we're at three yards we're zoomed in totally stock everything stock so let's go to work we're aiming at the center one just to Oh, uh, and our plus run mag extension will be used in all three as well. All right, so not terrible, but let's go uh, change everything out and go again. We'll put up a fresh target and uh, let you see how quickly we can tighten up quickly we can tighten up that group. Nothing quite like running out of memory right as you start shooting and not realizing it. So, rather than rehang another target, I got a million of these stickies. <laughs> we just made ourselves a nice little Birchwood Casey tiny sticker, mega sticker here. So, Peacekeeper, stainless steel guide rod and 13 round, uh, pound spring. Let's do it. Second mag. So as you can see, your groups tighten up quite a bit. So let's go throw the flat face in there and do our last test run. Now the one that I think will really shine for me anyway. Peacekeeper flat face, stainless steel 13 pound, all in there. Let's do it. Yeah. Now keep in mind, this is also because I'm much more used to flat face triggers. That's gonna be the jam for me right there. Ooh, baby. So there you go guys. Let's uh let's load up a couple mags. Last two mags and we'll have some fun with it. Shoot some steel. Shoot some stuff. So for the fun part, we've backed up a little bit. I don't really feel like catching a ricochet off one of my plates. So let's do it. All right. I like it, guys. I really like the flat face the best. Um, that's just me. But I think anyone who gets the flat face will really be into it. So I think you guys are going to really enjoy the new Peacekeeper upgrades. 
So let's uh, flip the camera around. We'll get my ugly mug up there and sign off and we'll see you later. I got it twisted up. And that's going to be it, guys, for this one. But there you go. Full upgrade on your... And this is no dash. Uh, so with the dash, you can still do the reduced power hammer spring. The reason the reduced power hammer spring won't work in a non-dash is because of the short stroking they did in-house to this generation of pistol. And it'll make it a little, little too light. But all in all... Uh, that should give you an idea of what you can expect out of your LCP at three yards on a target and then about five to seven yards on steel with the upgrades. So definitely, definitely worth checking this stuff out. Um, personally, I don't own an LCP. Um, I've got other small guns, just never had an LCP, but a little, little flat face peacekeeper may have to add one to the collection um i think the uh, wife and kids will really like uh playing with it that way but that's gonna wrap this one up guys if you got any questions feel free to contact me at tech that's tango echo charlie hotel at gallowaypercision.com be sure to follow us on media here social media here on youtube like comment and subscribe below be sure to follow us on firearms friendly full 30 gun streamer facebook Instagram and Vimeo and as always be safe be accurate and God bless